Hi everyone, this is Mr. Allaire, and in this podcast we're going to be talking about some anatomical regions and planes. Uh, in the previous podcast we went over a lot of basic anatomical terminology, and, um, and those were for how body parts relate to one another. Now again, we try to avoid using words like up, down, left, right, front, and back. So we try to uh, refer to some things in some universal ways so that no matter what position a, uh, an organism or a body might be in and no matter what your position in relation to that organism might be, we can all have an understanding of what we're talking about. And for that reason, we're going to be talking about regions and planes today. Uh, now, before we get into things, I do want to remind you that, of course, we do all come with the best reference source available, and that is our very own body. So I do encourage you to use your body as a reference source, use it as a guide to help you get a better understanding of not only the terms from the previous podcast, but also the regions and the planes that we'll be talking about in this podcast as well. So let's just jump right into it and let's talk about some different regions uh, of the body. Uh, we talked about words like superior and inferior, proximal, distal, medial, and lateral last time. Let's talk about some specific regions of the body. For instance, if we're talking about the skull, we're talking about the cranial region. If we're talking about the chest, that's the thoracic region. The arm is going to be the brachial region. The knee will be the patellar region. The head will be the cephalic region. And yes, when we talk about the butt, the buttocks, <clears throat> excuse me, we're talking about the gluteal region. So these are just some of the regions that uh, we will be looking at when we do dissections, as well as when we're talking about human anatomy and physiology later on in this year. Now, <clears throat> when we talk about planes, um, think back to your math classes when you talked about planes, maybe in your geometry class. And they mean kind of exactly the same thing as uh, they do in math class, and that is that a plane is an imaginary flat surface. But uh, instead of a plane being used to uh, divide an imaginary three-dimensional space uh, like you did in geometry, a plane in our case is used to divide the body or, or organs into some definite areas. And there are three anatomical planes that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, the medial or sagittal plane, the frontal or coronal plane, and the transverse or horizontal plane. So again, these are the exact same idea as in geometry. It's just that instead of it thinking about it in an imaginary three-dimensional space, we're thinking about it in terms and in relation to a, our bodies uh, or the body of any organism. So let's start out with the sagittal plane. Okay, the sagittal or the medial plane, and you can see that right here on our diagram. That's this one right here, the sagittal or the medial plane, is the plane that divides the body into right and left-hand portions. So that's this one right here, and if I draw really carefully, I think I might be able to outline it successfully. So that's this one right here. Now we can have lots of medial or sagittal planes on our body dividing our body into lots of left and right segments like we see in this diagram here if we're going to divide it into two equal sides this is going to be referred to as a, a unilateral uh, kind of a, uh, a plane or a, 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 again the medial or sagittal plane so we can see here that we're dividing the body into left or right hand portions and we can see in this MRI, this MRI is a really great example of an MRI done from the sagittal plane perspective. We can see the brain, we can see the core of the brain, as well as the brain stem leading down to the spinal cord, as well as the nasal cavity and the mouth and some of the, uh, the organs and muscles of the mouth and the jaw. We can even make out some of the vertebrae uh, in this particular picture. And again, so the sagittal plane is just dividing the body into right and left hand portions. The frontal or coronal plane, and that's right here on this particular diagram, uh, is dividing the body into exactly as it sounds like, front and back portions. And if I draw very carefully, I think I might be able to outline this. Okay, not as well as I did the last one, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. So once again, we can divide the body into equal 
front and back portions. Or we can divide it into any front or back portion that we want to, as demonstrated in this middle diagram here. If we look at the MRI, we can see that this is now an MRI taken from the frontal plane perspective. Again, we see the brain, we see different portions of the brain, we can make out uh, different segments and different lobes of the brain, but we don't see uh, the details we saw in the previous slide because that one was taken from the medial or the sagittal plane perspective, whereas this is taken from the frontal plane perspective. So we're looking at the front versus the back half of the brain. Our third and final plane, I know this is a short podcast, but here we go, third and final plane, is the transverse plane, and that's this one here on our first diagram. <clears throat> and this is a plane that, as the name suggests, divides the body into upper versus lower portions. And uh, again, just like our other planes, we could, of course, divide the body into equal upper or lower portions, or divided into any upper or lower portion as demonstrated in this middle diagram. Uh, once again, turning to our MRI, we see an MRI of somebody's head done from the transverse perspective. Uh, not only do we see the left versus the right lobes of the brain, we can see the nasal cavity as well as the eye or occipital cavities here. Uh, with the, uh, we can actually see the uh, the cords here going into the brain. Uh, so a different perspective allowing us to see different features. So again, we have three different planes, three different perspectives that we can view the body from. Sagittal, which is dividing the body into left versus right halves. Frontal, dividing the body into front versus back halves. And horizontal or transverse, dividing the body into upper versus lower halves. And that's regions and planes, and I hope that this has been helpful.